and welcome to Ain't Got A Clue. My name is Kay Kurd. Marcus Brunzi. Uh, thank you for racking with us. Uh, by the way, if you are on social, subscribe to us on YouTube. Please subscribe to us on YouTube. Like, comment, all of that. If you are on TikTok, follow us, repost the videos. If you're on Instagram, ain't got a clue. Mm. Uh, go, go and go and go and follow, like, share it with a friend. But yeah, follow us on everything, man. Yeah, I like that, man. On YouTube, you have got a little milestone coming up as well. So I just want to tip us over the edge there, yeah. bro. Just want to get yeah, us right man. over the edge there, nice. Yeah. yeah. How you doing? Okay. Um, I'm all right. You know, considering um the state of the world, I'm all right. I've got to yeah. be grateful. Do you know what I realized? Obviously, the other day, I realized that we're in such a fortunate position i was talking to someone and i was and they were like we were both talking about like oh what do you want to eat this evening kind mm -hmm. of thing and it was just like oh i've cooked this but i don't want it i might order something and i was just like the choice we have yeah whereas other people in the world are currently um not you know not in that position not for us to be able no nah, that i don't want that food so i was like do you know what let me be grateful um and, yeah man and then give to charity I still have that mentality of I don't like anything wasted at all. Like I don't, I don't want to leave a, a grain of rice on my plate. Even I mean, even if way. you're like um, dieting, yeah, yeah, and yeah, someone's yeah. put like the food on your plate, we're like, whoa, that's the worst way to mess with me. If I'm, a, I'd actually had a mate who would just put extra food on your plate when you go to his house. You're like, I'm done now. It's just hospitality, like, extra though, wing, yeah. extra chicken wing, extra bit of chicken, whatever. But yeah, no, I will clean my plate. So even when I'm dieting and stuff like that, I just have to portion control is important for me because I will eat what's in front of me yeah. and it's all going in it. Like yeah. I'm not joking. Kay. I, it, it jars me when I see someone leave a couple of grains of rice it. Hate it. in their Tupperware. I'm like, what, what's going to happen to that rice? You Mayonnaise. Not, you going to eat that? Ketchup. <laughs> yeah. 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 Why yeah, did yeah. you pull oh. that much? Yeah. Yeah. Why did you put it? That costs money, you know? Yeah. I, I turn into the, um, the dad in everybody hates Chris. Yeah. yeah. Daddy now says what the mayonnaise. <laughs> That's what that's what happens. Yeah. That is thirty nine cents worth of mayonnaise. Why are you leaving it on the plate? Yeah, man, I f I'm like that, bro. I'm the kind of guy. I'm put. I'm getting the last bit of pasta out of the bag, and I'm cooking it, bro. Like I'm not. I, I, some people I know are just like, yeah, there's five bits of pasta. I'm throwing the package in a bin. That's mad, bro. Oh, I, I, that's why you have a container. Yes. You put the pasta in the container. Yeah. Then it mixes with the other pasta that you've yeah. got. So then you know you yeah, never man. waste a bit. Bit but, another irk of mine. <laughs> <laughs> got straight go. into it Ix and Irks when people leave that's the name of the pod Ix yeah. and Irks people leave less than a portion of something in a container does that make sense like oh, when well, you like live with milk people and then they just leave like a spit worth of yeah milk. yeah, a, yeah, 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 yeah a little yeah, flob work what's who, who's that serving oh, man. who's that serving especially when there's not a fresh milk if there's a fresh milk i could play with you know what you've had the exact portion of milk you need so i'm going to take the rest of the old milk and put some fresh milk mm. in the top if this isn't for you i'm sorry this is where we're going today stuff like that jars me i remember i have siblings people that leave less than a portion of cereal if there's four cornflakes at the bottom of the box it, it's, I, I didn't it's even realise you had siblings. That was the biggest. <laughs> <laughs> that was the biggest. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> nah, I'm joking. I got but, family. But I'm, yeah, I'm joking. But yeah, the man, first time leave, I, one yeah. of the first times I ever saw Marcus outside, he was with one of his siblings. That's it. But with yeah. family. <laughs> yeah. That's it. You saw. Yeah, you saw the family unit yeah. running. Um. But yeah, that's so people. Funny, like, leave, I was just, yeah. Yeah, just, yeah. yeah. What's going on? We run in jokes, brother. Um. Less than a portion, bro. It just, it, it yeah. really, it really rattles my cage. I don't know why. I mean, look. That's triggered me so I, early I, into I the pod. I think you might be OCD to an extent. Really? Do you reckon? Yeah. Do you reckon? I'm well, let's self-diagnose mental health issues anyway. I mean, I mean. I feel like I'm going to be doing that a lot recently because I've been watching um, or Love Love on the Spectrum on Netflix. I don't know what that is. Bro, let me tell you this. Yeah. Does that sound like something where it's, you have to be very careful about how you no yes yes you have to be careful how you talk about it, but i will say this i went into that show yes with my angry old man fist in the air like, i was yes. ready to because yeah. i've watched undateables well and i don't like that show because Whoa. i feel like it's rude it is it's delving into the area of humanity where we people used to pay a quarter to look at weird people yeah, yeah that's what i feel like undateables was like i wasn't down with it so i was like love on the spectrum nah man so i was like i'm gonna watch this i'm gonna be telling k that this show's out of order Bro, let me just tell you, yeah, that show had me in my feelings. Are you crying? Bro, I'm not I, yeah, I'm not a crier, but if I was, there'd be a lot of tears. All I'm uh, saying is there was there may have been a lump in my throat. That meant I, I, to just I, I felt like that about <laughs> I, I went to watch Sister Act. Yeah. 
opening night. Oh man! And uh, I, I didn't know Lamar was in it. Yeah, really, yeah. really um, interesting. emotional. But there was a point where I got a bit emotional, and I was like, "Why am I getting emotional about?" It's something. Yeah, this? It was, I don't know. It's when so that's how you know someone's got talent. But this show is about people on the spectrum. Really teaches it breaks away from a lot of stereotypes, yes. which I like. Yes, and it also I feel like you learn. A, a more about how spectrominal if that's even a word the spectrum is like there's people that have such different that was such a made up ups word, and downs you know what like, i'll allow you we'll roll with it but yeah man okay honestly I highly recommend it bro okay. seriously you 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 know when you watch a show and you start becoming connected to the characters bro like you're like you want to you're invested in what they're doing so it's like love island for people on the spectrum yeah but um it's more like i don't know not like it got a text it ain't got that stuff like yeah Got that. It's more just like real yeah, yeah. dates. It's, yeah, it's not like a man like smashing through <laughs> traps in and switching it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One guy on the <laughs> spectrum just came. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good. I'm gonna, just going to yeah, have. Yeah, 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 man. Um, no, it's not. It's, yeah, me, really I need nice. I have an even number of women on my <laughs> yeah. On the go at the same time. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I can't um, have three. Yeah, it has to be has four, to be four. Or two. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, no, a really lovely watch. I highly recommend it. Every, everyone I've recommended it to. Old, young, male, female, whatever, has gone. Really nice show to watch. Uh, what Netflix, you said? Netflix, Love yeah. on the... Love on the spectrum. Uh, okay. Well, yeah. I started watching The Gentleman, so I'll see how that goes. Did you watch the film beforehand? No. There's a film beforehand, you know? The Guy Ritchie film beforehand uh, with Matthew McConaughey. Matthew McConaughey? Oh, his name oh right? yes, actually, yeah, I've watched yeah, that. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm watching the um, the the series. So uh, clearly, you don't have to have watched the movie to watch the series. Then it's different. Is it, is it is it not related at all? Not related at all. Similar story, just different universe. No, no, different. In the first fa in the first film, I mean, I mean, I'm going to spoil the plot. There's he has the facade of a regal man. Yeah, but under his house. Things are going on in. Yeah, it's the same thing. Really. Okay, yeah, but, yeah. But that bit's the same, but right. really, it's all different. Bugsy Malone was in the film. Yeah, I know. Is Bugsy Malone in the series? No. Yeah, it's definitely not the same universe. Though. Yeah, I <laughs> <laughs> haven't seen a black man in this. Actually, I have. He was. He was. Was just, he a punchline? No, he was. Okay. He was basically the help. Oh, like as in, oh, like the henchman. Oh, okay, all right. You gotta be careful with that. Yeah, <laughs> no, there, no, I was like, like whoa. Yeah, yeah, no. But yeah, as in, like, yeah. What I mean is like the yeah. hench help. You know? Okay, cool. So, yeah, but yeah. And you're rating it? Yeah, so far it's good. So far it's good. So far it's good. Oh. Why are you looking at me like that? No, no, no. no, it's good so far. Like you've never. You're usually quite polarised in your opinions, you know. That's usually you're like, oh, f oh, oh, yeah, it's, it's, oh, fuck, you know, I, I'll punch I, a man up if he says this. Or oh, you're I, like, I, trash. I, I, <laughs> but I, you know what, fuck Guy Ritchie. You know what, no, I'm no, upset. No. That's what I feel like you no, go no, like, no. no. I never really passed judgment until I've watched the whole thing. Okay, you're not just hoping that Guy Ritchie hears this and he, he oh, is this will sway him into Guy, casting Guy, K Curd. Let me tell you right now, yeah. yeah. Guy Ritchie, if you are listening, I need to be in one of your films. His wife follows me. Really? Yeah. All right. So that's why you're being nice about <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> Maximizing chances. I love that no, case. I just, listen. Yeah, I just want to say I, that I'm a massive fan of all his can films. I just like, say Vinnie Jones is in this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's always so funny watching Vinnie Jones in, in things and going, he used to fucking play football. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, he used to play fucking football when he's there. It's wild as well. People will know Vinnie Jones only for movies now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's been doing yeah, it for yeah. so long. I'd love to, like, imagine if it was like somebody like Paul Merson, mm. like, <laughs> just in films like <laughs> you think Gary someone, Neville. Yeah, someone <laughs> really <laughs> random. Gary Neville, just like, you're right, guys. You're right, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> right, I'm not having that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. kind of, it yeah. would be fucking brilliant. Yeah. But yeah, watching The Gentleman, it is great so far. So, um, is it, has it got the same, has it got like the Nicky name jokes? Has it got the, like, you know, why don't you just. There are funny bits yeah, in it, yeah. but it's not like. There are two types of cunt in this world, no, and you're like both that. of them. It's not like that. None of that. But okay, it, cool. It's quite funny All at right. times. Um, they're, they're, yeah, I mean, listen, just watch it. You, mm. I think you'll enjoy it. All right, cool. I, I, I'm enjoying it so far. I'm only like episode three, but. All right. You haven't, you haven't just smashed through the lot. You're taking your time with it. Again, usually you're like, I've watched it all, mate. Or is it coming out weekly? No, no, no. It's all there, but I just... Are you pleasantly, pleasantly surprised by this, Gary? Like, you've taken quite a mild approach to this. This guy, bro. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, you Look, think I'm man, taking a piece. A lot's going on in the world, right? Yeah, so yeah, we, yeah. We, we, we can't, Also, like there's a lot of... I've actually got to that stage where I'm like, listen, let me just... There's so much shit on TV that if I find something good, I want to yeah. savour it and be like, 
I won't watch it all in one sitting. Yeah. Let me, let me spread it out through time. Take time of it. I've, I've been the opposite. I've been more like you. I've been battering shows, bro. What have you battered? The uh, Autism on the Spectrum. I've done a yeah. US one, so I'm going through the Oz one now. There's an Australian yeah. one. And I just finished watching Free Body Problem. It's a sci-fi show on Netflix. It's got load of great actors in it. Loads of UK comedians in it. As well. I wouldn't be surprised if you actually screen tested for this as well. You know, oh, I, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, it's a sci-fi show. Loads of great uh, comedians in it, but it's not that funny. It's got. I don't know the actor's name. I can find it on IMDb. It's got the guy you know from Doctor Strange, who's like his partner in crime, that Asian brother. Let me find his oh, name. Oh, his um, name is Benedict as well. Benedict Wong. Yeah, Benedict Wong. Amazing to hear him talking. Benedict Cumberbatch and Benedict Wong, like (laughs) both. Yeah, yeah. He's from Manchester. Yeah, I was going. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he actually speaks in his normal accent for once, which is nice because I'm used to hearing him like Americanized or whatever. Like, yeah, he's not even Americanized. They just go insert (laughs) generic Asian accent. Yeah, yeah, it's like, oh, why are we doing this? Yeah, and it's just like, like, and I don't know why that came out like that, but he will be like, oh, yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of that in his voice. He doesn't do that. No, but he doesn't. When he played um, Genghis Khan in Marco Polo, it was yeah. a lot of uh, oh, mm. like, do you know what I mean? It was a lot of just guttural sounds rather than. I would love to play a role like that. Like, right, okay. <laughs> Imagine they screen test you was like, like they ask you to do a self tape, and it's just like, can you do like a variation of grunts? Mm. Oh. You know, you be Korean grunt. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Japanese grunt. Oh. It's at that stage in your career where you've got to look at how much work you've got coming in. When they, when they go, right, what is the buyout for this? Okay. You know what? Any accent, I'm going for it. Let me tell you one yeah. thing right now. Yeah. yeah. He, Marcus is saying that the right now, if they just went, this is henchman number three. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> We need you. To, I've been, we need I've been you. self-taping for henchman number four, three. That's a. I get lines. We need you in a yeah. in, in a leather jacket. Let's see your screw face, mm. Mm. <laughs> bro, bro. <laughs> they make you. They make you like change your hair cut a bit in it. Like um, the it stuff might, I've been asked to do for for screen test stuff is because I'm a taller bloke. They want to do physical stuff, so sometimes they'll ask to see you doing physical stuff. Yeah, like they want to see you lifting weights. So okay. I'd have to be that guy at the gym <laughs> filming oh, himself. So hard. <laughs> no, nah, that's weird though, bro. It's weird. Oh, like imagine that. Go like, film myself ima- in the gym. Im- imagine casting. Like, what have you got to do today? I've got to look at like th- three hundred videos of guys doing pull-ups. Do you know? What I mean? For someone, that's a great job actually, isn't it? For someone, they'll be like, "Fucking hell!" I mean, early on a Monday for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, watch Three Body Problem. His his man his Mancunian accent. It's just good to hear him being himself. He's a fucking great actor, bro. Yeah, yeah. Great actor, and it's some proper sci-fi stuff. So, and, I, and there's books around it, bro. I'm not even waiting for season two. I'm clapping the book. I'm getting through the books, bro. Getting through the books. So do you know what's so funny, right? And yeah. I don't mean this in a mad way, yeah? All right, guys. If you're new to this podcast, <laughs> thank you. I'm sorry, Kay, I've got to pause you there. If you're new to this podcast, when Kay says that, he definitely means this in a mad way. No, and what no, no, he's no. about to say is probably why we call the podcast Ain't Got A Clue. I, it's just... Okay. I, Look at the... Po- oh, that's it. He is poised. He's got his politician hands poised no, no, that no, together. No. He's, so take your If you listen to the pod, look you, at your two hands. I just can't see you like on the tube or something and then you, you come out here with your bag and yeah. you pull a book out. I just can't see... Can you not see me curling up with a nice no, book next to the fire? <laughs> just that... I think the book is too small for you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, like, the idea of you like just sitting there with yeah. your slippers on in a book, uh, like it just yeah. looks, it it looks. F- not to say I'm not saying you're not intellectual, you can't read or anything like that. But I'm just saying, wow, the, just the, to clarify the dish. Yeah, no, of course. <laughs> but I'm not saying you look fucking dumb, but like, go, go, go. No, okay, it's go, not go. about anything like that. It's nothing it, okay. with regards to inter- It's just like physically, it just looks size funny. Of me holding a book. Yeah, holding a book. <laughs> Yeah, no, this is nice. Still a paperback. I think you're a you're a hardback man. So you're saying so, I can't uh, see you. All, I, can't, I can't see you reading a paperback book. It just looks holding it with one hand. Look at the size of your hands, bro. Man's just bro, that's turning pages. Like. You you hold a book like a leaflet, <laughs> like it's a pamphlet or something. Yeah. Oh man. That's how I feel. With, yeah. Uh, I, I, like, cause yeah, I just, like, I just can't see like that image of you for just for an hour. <laughs> 
what? I don't know why it's so funny to me, but well, the like idea sipping of, a small cup of tea, yeah. like, and in your head, the tea <laughs> cup is just the, the, the hole in it is just about big enough for me to get yeah. my finger and my yeah. thumb through it. Yeah. Oh, it's nice. so like that advert, that insurance advert, is like for the where he's like the gentle giant, is like Jack and a Beanstalk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It feels like that where you're just like sat there like. <laughs> <laughs> at seven o'clock in the evening that's <laughs> with a book i just can't see it oh man oh. maybe on holiday on holiday i like a little read what i can see is mm. you with a massive shisha <laughs> next to you <laughs> <laughs> at home just <laughs> like a, a comedy size shisha like yeah. so you're saying the actual size of the shisha yeah just is my size a huge <laughs> shisha just smoking yeah. it at home like glug, 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 glug. going ham and i know your one because you're a tech guy yeah. it, it's got some mad technology on the shisha like yeah this one actually like you can change the flavors on it like with a touch wow. of a button you've done my voice as well guys fucking that's a good one it's <laughs> a good one um so I guess if none of that I, is a diss. I that guess if I told yeah, none of it is. <laughs> none of that none, was a diss. None of that. Um, I was gonna say if I told you some of the books I read, you might be surprised as well. Maybe that's for another episode. No, go on, no, no, go on then. So like, I'll read fiction. Yeah. Okay. I'll read non-fiction, but I've like I'll read like about stuff as well that like I have no need to read about. So I've read about fishing. Okay. I've read about that doesn't surprise gardening. me. Like, th those don't surprise me in the slightest. And remember, we went foraging once. Yes, I may or may not have a book about foraging. Oh yeah, I can see read, all like of a, that. It's, a, it's actually a really small book as well, because so you'd piss yourself if you read it because <laughs> yeah. it's a, it's tiny. It's like a little square That's book. That's hilarious. I can read it. I, I no, I could I could imagine all of that stuff. I I, okay. I just think if you were to tell me what does what kind of stuff is Marcus into, I'd be like sci-fi and weird dad stuff. <laughs> <laughs> like I could, ju I could just like, imagine what, you like. What's like, a weird dad thing? No, like all of that stuff, like oh, yeah, fishing. Like, like you're an American dad yeah, in a yeah, sense, yeah, but yeah. you live in Britain, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, like yeah. Well, we just go, we just, <laughs> well, you just load up the truck and go fishing. I want to. What's weird it. about what's weird about fishing? It's not weird, but I'm saying, <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm, I'm, I'm probably the wrong word, but I just yeah. mean like it feels like you're an American dad, but you're trapped here. Like I could see also the kind of size you are. I think you need a big pickup truck. Yeah, okay. You fill it with fishing gear, right. and then you go. You take your son, and mm. you're like, "This weekend we go and fish him." Okay. And then he's just like, "Dad, I don't want it." And you're like, "No, you're you're man. You gonna learn how to fish. Gonna learn how to hunt. Forage. We gonna foraging." That, there's that whole American thing where like kill their first deer in it, and they yeah, like freaking. I I reckon your first buck. If you were born in America, you would be, you would be eating. What is it? That, that, what's that meat that Joe Rogan eats? I don't know jerky. What does he? No, eat? no, no, no. He eats like ox or something. Like not ox. It, it's something mad in it. Like deer, buffalo. What does he eat? Yeah, it's something. One of them. It's one of them big ones. Yeah, one eats. of them big motherfuckers. Like, and he's just like the protein on that is crazy. And I think you'd be one of those guys. I, I reckon you would. Own, you'd probably be from Texas. Nah. Yeah, you, you would nah. own. You would own a rifle. Yeah. And you'd have a big ranch, and you'd be by. You'd be by yourself, and it's just like, no, we don't get Amazon deliveries around here. Nah, I wouldn't. <laughs> I don't think I'd be. I don't think I'd be fully ranch. I think I'd, I'd probably be more LA, but like out, outer LA, like outskirts LA. No, not 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 like city, city, city. And no, no, California. Sorry, not uh, outskirts yeah. California. Not not that like LA city, city, city vibe. It's basically Texas. <laughs> it's not basically Texas. Texas. Okay, <laughs> like OC, Texas. Yeah. If you, it ain't California, Texas. Yeah, you, I, um, I, I could see you in Texas because you, you'd mm. love that sort of like, I'm a man with my freedom. Do you think then... You will not infringe on my freedom, boy. You're not the first person that said to me that I look like I, I, I should drive a big 4x4 yes. or a pickup. You look like To you the should, point yeah. when I've ever like, when I'm reviewing a car like that, that's apps, like one of those ones that's got an astronomical right, price tag. One of the hurt, most hurtful things people say is, yeah, this one actually suits you, you know? Yeah, because I, I want to say that like, and as yeah. a friend, because I know what car you drive. Yeah. It's it, not bad. No, your car is a beautiful car. Mm. It's just weird to see you drive it. <laughs> In everyone's head, they're thinking like, "What has he got? Like a tricked out so Mini Cooper, like no, a no, Mr. Bean no, car, no, or something no. like so, that." Yeah. So you know when you yeah. when you came in with that Range Land Rover Defender one? Day, oh my god, the same color as the that, same color as his t-shirt. Yeah. I was wearing his t-shirt as well. So like, that, oh man, that is what I envisage you wearing, right? Yeah, big guy. That's your car. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why. Like, I feel like you'd have a rifle in the back and yeah, just like I can't lie. I felt that. <laughs> yeah. That's the worst thing. I felt that. Yeah, I feel like that is you in it. So when I see you get into like a hatchback or something, yeah. I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> 
no one can see in the back because you put a card the, <laughs> the seat's there too far at the back in it yeah. yeah people getting in the back like can you move it forward a bit yeah. no I can't you know winding down the window manually <laughs> yeah all of that is so um, the, kind, yeah. the kind of person I get that I, honestly I get a lot a lot but, of my mates have said to me I, you suit these big cars yeah I, I, I but on the, on the flip side, I don't think we should have big cars in London. Nah, man. Nah, man. I'm, uh, listen, yeah. it's a waste. I'm, and also, like, because you're seeing cars park mm. in these parking spaces, and it just, yeah. the, it, it takes up half of the other parking space, and you're like, well, I can't even park there now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it just, it jars the hell out of me. Yeah, man. But it is, I will say, being my size, when I do get into a big car like that, or in LA cars are just a bit bigger as well, yeah. on the bigger roads, I feel, I feel comfortable, as opposed to sitting in a smaller car, even if you put the seat all the way back, it just doesn't feel right. Have now. you ever driven a smart car? Yeah. That looked like a clown. I owned a smart car. car. It's one of my one of my favourite cars that, that is, I had. That is you see Check that's this just, out. That's just that's just comedy. Yeah. <laughs> one of my favourite cars. I had I had the smart Brabus. So I had like the smart car that was tricked out. So like if you're look, if you're not into cars, I'll do it quick. Uh Mercedes. Uh, have a type of car which is tricked out by like a skunk works company called Brabus who are officially affiliated so you get like so for example the G-Wagon yeah. yeah, yeah, you see yeah, tricked yeah, out yeah, yeah. that's a Brabus, a Brabus. Yeah, yeah, I've seen so it. I had a smart car blacked out tinted windows subwoofer everything in it system in it this is all factory set as well I didn't do it rims everything and I used bruv it was one of my favourite cars that I f loved it yeah. people <laughs> wait, rinsed wait, wait, me wait. for it bruv you look like a transformer <laughs> 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 Cars the same size as you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One of my mates was like, so what, do you just like park that car in the back of your real car then? That's so funny. Because yeah, I can imagine yeah. you just like, Nyeh. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's one of my favourite cars to drive. Loved no, it. I hear you. I think I even drove it. I think, that I, think I drove been it to so Scotland unsafe. and back. That would have been so unsafe for you. Why? One crash, God forbid, you would have been finished. Do you know what? Apparently, well, I never crashed. Safety is quite good in them. And, it, and all joking aside, it yeah, it's had, good in him for a normal person, not for you. Your leg was right it, near where the fucking engine is. It had enough behind. It, it had enough room for me, you know, like because it sits, sat you high. Yeah, yeah. The yeah, guy yeah. that recommended it to me, right on a, all joking aside, the guy that recommended it to me is like six four, and he had one, and I was like, okay, no way. And he's like, bro, sit in this. It's like a van, sits you a bit higher. Okay. I was fine. Leg room, I was fine, absolutely fine in it. In fact, I've had two Have smart you got a picture cars. Or a video of this. Oh, I could dig it out from if somewhere. You've got, please put it on a Patreon if you do. Yeah, I can dig it out from somewhere. That, if that's I loved not it. enough reason to sign up to the Patreon. I loved it. That was one of my favourite cars yeah, ever. Hilarious. Hilarious. Really? Hilarious. Like, you know, you know, I'm somebody who obviously I try out new stuff and tech. I review it and stuff for a platform. But so like, you thought, let me, let me try out a clown car. <laughs> but I like, honestly, bro, if you ask me one of my favourite cars, it's got to be one of my favourite cars. Yeah, well... I don't know why. Is that is that weird? Like it's everyone has weird. their favorite car. Like it's, you know, like your first, you know, like your first ever car was always a piece of shit compared to what you have now. But that car has memories. Like your first, your first first car. I had a Ford Fiesta. Snap. It Go was on. burgundy nice. and reg. What? Yeah. Mine was a red M reg. Is it? Yeah. yeah so yeah. slightly off. Mine was N. Yeah. N. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, shit. Yeah. It was yeah. It was burgundy. Four hundred pounds. Sold it for four fifty. Really? Yeah. Mine. I think I got it for like five hundred quid run it into the floor and bro. i know there's younger people listening to this going oh i'm just in the 1990s yeah <laughs> no but um this was back when it was a little bit more respectable to have a car that was very old but my first Nowadays, car people fucking their first cars they're like oh brand yeah. new yeah fucking buying mercedes and stuff off the, yeah. off the lot i'm like um, yeah my first car had no hubcaps not even hubcaps on it Listen, so i had to buy hubcaps first car, it. yeah had no stereo yeah Fuck it. ac what i i had, Did you have ac I don't think so. I don't have AC. Yeah. I think my first car, I had one of them things where you put the tape in it. Yeah. And it had a wire coming out for the aux. Yes. That's what I had. I had that. So, so no, I had no radio. Then I had that. And I can't. Yeah. So, for those that don't know, you had this like dummy tape thing you put in and it connected to aux lead, which you could plug into like. Yeah. A CD player I struggled bro yeah man bro that was when people made money off of music yeah I now, can't lie with my first car what made me get I did end up getting like a subwoofer for it and six by nines right so you're so ends but what made me get it you're so hood do you know what I think my first no my first car had no radio ran into the floor my second I think I used to just put my phone in the in the hole that was the thing and play music my second car you had no the ACS boy <laughs> I was cool bro I was you know what I think <laughs> 
It wasn't, you know what? It wasn't peer pressure from the guys that rinsed me. Have you seen Marcus's have you, car? Have you heard bro. his car coming, bruv? You can hear it coming, you know. I think it was... Playing the head, shoulders, knees and toes <laughs> that have a fucking... <laughs> that is flipping. That is such a uni anthem. I think it was a girl that rinsed me into getting an actual sound system. So for the for when I first got my second car, I thought, oh, you know what? I'm not. I'm not bending to any any peer pressure. I'm saving up for a sound system when I'm ready. If I want it, you went on a date. You but like, oh, she I've sat in the car. She went. No music now. She went. On your DJ or something. Ooh. I said yeah. She goes. I'd expect you to have a little bit. You know, to have a little. <laughs> Marcus went to Halfords on the Big way man? to the restaurant. Big man. When you came into my car next year. I had the I had the face here you could take off and put in your pocket with you that that deactivated it. The car was good. Yeah, 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 yeah. When you got in it, when you the got in it, I, I swear to God, I got the listen. I don't get hit by peer pressure or pressure like that. I got hit by it. I made sure I had the sound no. system where you press the button and it folded down and the CD would come yes, out. Yes, when you yes, opened yes. it, when you when you pushed it back, the LCD screen said "Hello, Marcus." There is yeah, nothing. There is nothing worse. Come on. Than uh, a comment a woman will make to a man's ego, right? Mm. Your boys can cuss you for something for ages. Roast yeah. you. Yeah, roast you. Roast you. <laughs> when a woman says it. The man them can be like, yo, did you dish your barber? Did you dish your barber? Yo, fam, give me the, give me, you know, you know what? What did you say to your barber? You tend to suck his mum before you, before you trimmed you. Is that what you said? But then a, a woman can go like, oh, oh, your head? Have, you changed, have you changed barbers? That's what I said. Have you, have you changed barbers? You're like, no, same one. It's oh. Over. Keep it's it over, moving, bro. It's over. A girl will say one thing like, oh, rah. Yeah, yeah. I, th I thought, I thought your sound system would be louder. What? What? <laughs> I'm in Halfords tonight, bro. I'm in Halfords tonight. And you go to the guy at Halfords, give me all the speed. Give me all the bass. What do you want? All of it. Where are you putting it? In my fucking smart car, yeah, brothers, yeah. bro. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, man. But yeah, my second yeah, I remember ex I remember who she was, I remember when she said it, I remember where I was driving, and I just knew that next time I had to have the sound system popping. I bet I bet listen. That is so funny though, because those big those small cars, I can't imagine Marcus Bronzy getting jiggy with it in, in a smart car. <laughs> Limbs flying out of every angle. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> was it a right of of honor for young people? Was that like a, it was a thing in it? It was a thing back then. I don't think it's a thing for kids now. I don't think they. I don't think that's cool. Cars are just way too big now. Yeah, yeah, Cars yeah. Cars are just way yeah, too yeah, big. Yeah, yeah, I saw somebody. Somebody told me recently they got a mini, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh yeah, the new minis are kind of big. They were like, oh no, this minis. Old. I was like, no. What I mean by these new minis is the newer shaped minis. Yeah. In comparison to the old minis, I was like, Google it. And they were like, oh my God, how did people fit in those? And I was like, that was a real mini. It was a proper car. That was a, that was Mr. Bean. But yeah, then EU car. directives came in and we, we can't have cars that small anymore. Mm, um, it's a shame, man. But um, should we st get stuck into some of the patron stuff before yeah, we wrap the show? Yeah. Okay, man. Shout out to well, there's a couple yeah. of people here. That, go, is go there on. anybody talking about a flag? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, can I say something quick yeah, about yeah, that? Yeah, of course, of yeah. course. I, look, right, I get both sides of that argument, you know. Mm -hmm. You know this, I, for those that don't know, yeah, Nike yeah, yeah, had on. this, um, Nike put out a tweet about the New England shirt. It had a flag on the back that wasn't the St. George's cross. Mm -hmm. It was essentially in different colours, mm -hmm. whatever, blah, 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 blah. Loads of people got angry about it and some people were like, why are you getting angry about it? And I saw both sides because I thought, look, man, when people were getting at the people that, were crying about the flag mm -hmm. i was like you can't allow people not to be patriotic mm -hmm. right especially in this current climate where you know everything gets turned into a culture war mm -hmm. which that that is the one thing that jars me everything gets turned into a culture war and it's like this is left versus right yeah let the, the moment we stop letting people get patriotic it has the complete opposite effect because mm. people go look we're being um we're being persecuted against we can't say we can't be proud of who we are blah blah yeah, blah blah. yeah all of that sort of stuff and i do think like in this country i mean i spoke about it in my special people love symbolism in this country isn't it? Mm -hmm. and the moment you start messing with their symbols it's a it's an emotive thing you wouldn't do it really to americans do you know what i mean you wouldn't it, it's one of those ones you you're not gonna i feel like somebody in the fa has gone we wanna we want mm. something that you know really shows it happens all the yeah. time and it happens all the time in design yeah. it happens all the time bruv there's people out there that'll be like we need to redesign the coca-cola can yeah at what point have have you ever in your life gone you know 
Coke, I, do you know what? I like Coke, but people just like it's a bit samey. Yeah, no, no, never. We never, want samey, never. so I, I agree. And people struggle with change. Yeah, and we've have it every time. There's the Olympics, and they do an Olympic logo. There's always for and against because we got rinsed in the UK for the yeah, Olympic yeah, logo. Yeah. Yeah. But I look, I look, I look. I'm looking at the design now. It's all right. I get what it represents. Yeah, but I just feel like it's all right. Don't design change, cool. They've changed if, it, if, cool, whatever. Yeah. Is there a way that they could have done it better? Probably. I'm not a designer. Cool. But like, I do think I understand both sides. Like you yes, said, sir, yeah. people just like stuff to be how it was. Yes. But I get it. They've also want to do want to incorporate messages and stuff in the new shirts. I don't know. Also, also I just think at the back of the neck, I just think it doesn't, it's not like the, it's not like front and center like of the no, chest. No, I know, little, but it's just, tweak. it's like I said, it's symbolism in it. And, yeah. and for people like when you mess with their national identity, yeah, yeah, yeah. especially in this, current climate yeah. you should know what kind of conversation that that's gonna that's i guess gonna it's create. like looking at a purple and yellow american flag it's not the same flag no, anymore is it like because no. it's just yeah, yeah yeah it's now just whatever you turn it into the lakers colors yeah yeah yeah, and, and, <laughs> yeah. but i i, I should yeah, be, yeah, go yeah but, I, but i also get the other people going it's just a flag stop getting angry about it and it's just like I, I, you've got to see it from people's perspective on that side of things, yeah? For a lot of people, it's not just a flag, mm. right? It represents their identity, mm. right? And once you start messing with that, unfortunately, right, it does it does, it does, does affect people in, a, in an emotive way, right? Like mm. their identity is sacred to them. And I know, you know, a lot of far-right groups are probably taking it over and stuff, but I, I don't think we should sub succumb to that. We should try and bring it... I think, back. well, then, uh, well, if I'm honest, if I feel like a piece of symbolism has been stolen and used in the wrong way, yeah, I think keeping it in its an original form and then claiming back what it's yeah. meaning is, I yeah. think that's a more powerful message, exactly, because you're spoiling it for those who are using it in the wrong way. Yeah. And we've and without getting into it, we all know there's certain symbols that have meant peace that have been used for flipping genocide, yes. yeah, yes. for example, yes. and stuff like that. So you know, I think you have got to claim it back. And there's, there's words out here look that we that we're nicking back all the look time. At, look at us, yeah, look man. At us. I mean, who would have thought we'd have the most mature answer to that? After talking about a girl making me buy all the speakers and outfits. <laughs> But it, this is what we, this yeah. is what we give you this on the show. What we give you, man. Range, bruv. Not everyday banter. Sometimes we give you a little bit of nugget, mm. nuggets of information. See, I fucked up the what I was even gonna say. There we go. We will give you nuggets of gold. That's what I meant. Well, we've had some nuggets of gold back from the patron gang, Kang K. Yeah, and I'm tripping up more as well. Here we go. Right. So, science patron has come for us. Uh, we have. I we have oh, some science people. Yeah. I'm, I'm half right as always. Well, let me get let me get. I, I don't come on, okay. Let me read it out. Come on, let's yeah. let's keep. He's come on, let's half keep, right. Yeah, let's let's take our time with it now. So, <laughs> last week's episode, we spoke about a lot of sciencey things. Granted, I don't have a doctor before my name. Yeah, I don't even know if I'm man enough to have a Mister. I think I should just whatever it was a kid. I should just wow. be addressed as Marcus. That's Master. all it is. Yeah, Master, Master, Master Marcus, Marcus. All <laughs> uh, right, okay. So, I used to, by the way, you know yeah. when that used to come up as an option on like thing. I thought Master was better than Mister. I thought Master until so what like did you do, okay? no, but I used to be like raw Master kid. <laughs> like, <laughs> but it was like when I watched Fresh Prince, I realized it meant like you know Master William. Yes, I Master. realized it meant thingy. Anyway, yeah. But yeah. Um. So, Tabarak has said, listen, all right, lads, I've got my pharmacist hat on, decongestion Jeez. nasal sprays. Oh, because we spoke about um, maybe yeah, yeah. causing nosebleeds, in it? Or you said... I said, yeah, it can perforate, like, it can create a hole in your septum. Okay, cool. It can do. He says it <laughs> helps reduce the nasal passages by shrinking the blood vessels around yeah. it. Shouldn't be used long term because it can cause rebound congestion if used too much. Yeah. And in rare cases, cause permanent jam damage to the blood vessels around the septum. As always... <laughs> As, as always, always you're half right k there you go i'm now, half k, right <laughs> as always is that now this opens up another conversation is that <laughs> i saw what you meant is it being half right are you wrong are you half wrong no i'm all half the way right. wrong i'm half right okay all right i'm half right <laughs> you're gonna die <laughs> tabarak said i'm half right i'm half right bro <laughs> so where it is bro yeah go 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 he's done some reading say yeah, if look. i'm giving you some directions okay. right and I go, yeah, if you just okay. go around in that direction, yeah, yeah. I, I think it's on your left, okay. but it turns out to be on your right. Yeah. I'm still half right because it was still in direct. So direction. the purpose of what you, your, your directions is to get me to a place, I'll but you've not got me there. So that means you're 100% no, 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 no. haven't. I've so you, you failed no, in no, that no, objective. No, no. Bro, if I'm like Notting Hills that way yeah. and, and you go that way, yeah. I was half right, innit? You're 100% right if it's that way. I'd yeah. say you're 100 percent right. If you, if you pointed west and said it's over there, if cool. I, I don't know, but I think it's that way. <laughs> Come on, man, half right, bro. 
I'm half right. <laughs> half right or 100% listen, right. Listen, listen. <laughs> Whatever I, I learned in my gonna, science degree, yeah. I Whatever I learned yeah. in my science degree, I do not remember, right? So, oh yeah, bro, this should be your forte. <laughs> well, I should be half wrong. I'm oh, sorry, half right. You're <laughs> half wrong. I'm half. I right. was a half. Right. I was a half. Right. I didn't say anything about this. Listen. Yeah, yeah. I am no, but you, you, you read sci-fi, so you should. <laughs> <laughs> you basically got a degree so in Marcus, science. Why do you think you should be on this uh, science course? Star Trek. <laughs> what? Star Trek. Ask me a question. Go on. Warp drive. Talk to me. What? X-Men. X-Men. What? Feasible. Yeah. <laughs> By the way. My friend says I'm a bit like beasts because I'm big and I, I'm intelligent. <laughs> it surprises him. Go on. <laughs> Name one of the elements, Adamantium. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Look, I'm half right, man. Look, <laughs> Name I, a force. I, I, Psychokinesis. <laughs> That's a force. <laughs> <laughs> Telekinesis as well, yeah? What? Go on. I, I don't remember anything from my science okay. degree. I've been doing comedy now longer than I've been doing anything else in my life. Okay. All right. right? So when it comes to science, I, I remember like bits and pieces of it or like okay. I remember certain things and I'm right. like, that's the ballpark. Like, it's like crossing a ball in it. You cross it into the box and see what happens. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I'm so glad it. you're not my doctor right now. He's like, you know well, what? I'm so am I. You're sick. No, but if I and was if a I doctor, get you a little bit no, better, no, no, I'm no. half right. Don't don't I'm, give me that because right. if I if I actually put in the effort into yeah. science, that I'd put into comedy. Yeah, I'd I'd what? I'd be a top doctor. I mean, we're never I'm, we're never going to find out unless you really no, decide I'm, I'm to, to retrain at some point. I'm not going into medicine, but so I, I, got I just say no. As my doctor. I wouldn't want to get like results back or like ha something happens and you send me off for a procedure. Like imagine I go for an have operation and I come round and the doctor goes, well, have you never the used operation the went half, right? Have you never used the NHS? <laughs> <laughs> Some people go through that on a daily basis. I've told you about when I got the wrong results back for a, <laughs> for a scan. That's what like, I'm saying. Well, well, <laughs> I was half right because it's a shoulder. There was a shoulder in the, in the scan. It's not yours. And they, it's the left one, and yours is the right, but it's a shoulder. They look at, so it's half they right. look at a tumor. Don't know what it is. Yeah, yeah, could yeah. Could be yeah. cancer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, could be benign. They're half right. I mean, we cut the wrong bollock off. I was half right, wasn't I, though, innit? What? I'm sorry, what? They actually, they actually have to write, not this but, arm, but, when they're but, doing but what is the, um, what amputations. Is, what is the name of this podcast? Ain't got a clue. Exactly. So yeah. that is my baseline, bruv. Okay. So then when I do get into a nice ballpark, yeah. it's good, man. I cross the ball into the box. Yeah. Just wait for someone to like someone like Tabarak to like stick a leg out and put put it into the back of the net. That's what it is, honestly. Like, come on, man. Man, <laughs> like Tabarak, we got yourself. We got uh, you. Shout out to Cash as well. He said, "Oh, because we spoke about Sunny D, someone drinking it and going orange." He said, "The beta this. the beta carotene issue." We did that. We did that regarding yeah. Sunny D. No, we we didn't do this. This says was also used in an episode of Scrubs, and a patient's husband had been drinking too much carrot juice. So apparently, that's another thing as well. Like it was. So oh. true that it was used in another comedy show. Just, well, well, there you go. Scrubs saying, was elite, by the way. Oh, man. Proper proper TV, that. Nothing like that. Proper. Have we had anything like that? Proper it's fucking TV, that. Hard to no put sitcoms on. nowadays are shit because what they end up doing is going, they just smash a lot of identity politics into it and forget about the storylines. Yeah. Whereas I think there was a nice mix in, in, um, in Scrubs. They Before did they didn't yeah. make a song and dance about what the character's identity was, right? So for example, yeah. now, if they have a black character, yeah. he's going on Black Lives Matters marches or whatever. And if they have like a gay character, it's like all about their... Uh, story about them being gay where it's like before they were a character that happened to be black or happened to be gay or happened to be well, a woman yeah, I, think, you know I, mean? I said and it before you, that's yeah. what draws me into Star Trek you know yeah exactly it's you know? so matter of fact with exactly it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and that's what I think a lot of comedies used to be whereas now it's like this is the episode where you do your uh, ethnic this is, thing this is your bit where you know <laughs> your, your time is shine <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah so uh, come on give yeah, us the yeah, yeah. what is it that, you, that, that you're where are you from <laughs> Yeah, do, we're right that. around that. We're right around that. that. We're right around that. that. So wow, okay. Mm. Yeah, it's all it's all bollocks now. And I can't it, it annoys me because you watch a lot of stuff and it's just like you you're getting into it and then suddenly it's like now time for the identity politics <laughs> You're just like, oh for fuck's sake. Man. I was enjoying the storyline and now you're just turning it into something. And look, I'm 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 pretty left wing, but on some issues, <laughs> some issues. Is it? On, on some issues, I'm a Tory. On half oh issues. <laughs> on some issues. No, I am, I am, I am man enough to admit that on a lot of issues, I'm right wing. Really? 100%. 
I think I'm a little bit more left leaning than no, that. I no, am. you know, do you know what? I've realised I'm actually not. I'm quite central. Yes. But the bar has moved so far. Yeah, yeah. Right. That I feel like I'm pushed left. So all right, put it put it. Because I'm like, I like not killing people and people are like fuck it easy no. wokey okay. easy what, no, no, fuck it. you okay. want people to so, eat so oh, I, I, don't, down. I yeah. don't mind killing criminals yeah that <laughs> okay <where> I, <laughs> I just sound like i agree yeah yeah sure sure cool. so i i think it, on crime i would be super right wing really like are you like finger if you're still or hand if you're still yeah that yeah. kind of foot if you run away from the police yeah unless, <laughs> unless what? are you running <laughs> yeah. unless it's like yeah yo you're a dad and like you've just been like we will look at the circumstance by a case by a case basis. Okay, right. But so have kids then still I, in your I, world and you're okay. I think there should be a. I think there needs to be massive deterrence. Okay, like crazy deterrence. That, like the thing is now you go. Oh, what man does a bit of drug dealing? What come mm. out with <laughs> twenty four months community service or whatever mm, it is? Mm, mm. Oh, yeah, whatever. That's like man. Like oh what slap on the wrist. You need to get into a situation where it's like, oh my god, you've got drugs on you. Like. You know mm. you can go to jail for like fifteen years for that. Yeah, like that kind, of, and then nobody's doing it. Well, you well, could argue that some would still do it, and the yeah, price of weed it, would be a lot more expensive. Yeah, but a then, lot more stress. Nah, I don't, bro. <laughs> they got rid of it. They got rid of it in a lot of countries like Singapore and that. Mm. And man, we're like, yeah, what? Oh, you you want to bring drugs in? Jail time. Years. Yeah, <laughs> that's <laughs> mad. And you're like. Imagine that because you start weighing up the cost. Yeah, yeah, you're weighing up the cost of it, innit? And you're going, mm -hmm. yeah. but yeah. So I'd say on like crime and stuff, I'm super right wing. Okay. What you try to jack man's watch? Yeah. Watch your life go down the pan because <laughs> yeah. you're doing 25. Yeah. No, keep the watch, yeah. but you'll be in prison going tick tick, <laughs> looking at it go for your sentence, bro. <laughs> you imagine that as a sentence, every room in has loud clocks. Yeah. Oh, mate. oh, that's torture. Yeah. That's mental. Or like, yeah, people robbing cars, mm. ki killing people. I, I, when I see people like get away with sexual assault offences mm. like three years or whatever I'm like this right. is fucking ridiculous right. what about the small number of people this is a bit too deep we can move on what about the small number of people that get wrongly charged with these things and come out 20 years later no, but it has they'll to be, be dead for 20 years no 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 it has to be charged it, you have to like it has to be a unanimous like the evidence has to be clear if I c catch you with a knife mm. on you mm -hmm. brother you're, you're in I'll call you with a knife on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like that that's ten years. Do you know in other years. Do you know in other countries like the law like the law is set up? I think it's Germany where they don't actually have like for and against. The whole case is let's just find out the truth. Yeah. And then deal with the matter after. It's yeah. not like I think he did. Oh, that's sick. Whatever. Yeah, that's, yeah. But, that, but that's what I'm saying. Like, on those issues, I'm super right wing, bruv. Okay. But then when it comes to like certain other things, I'm like, oh, we should support the poor. That's yeah, left wing. Yeah, do you know what yeah, I mean? Like yeah, yeah. but when it comes to like taxes on businesses and mm. stuff, I'm like, you know, let's be, let's, let's allow businesses to thrive. Yeah. Yeah. That kind of thing. But so like, I feel like people go like, like think I'm a bit soft or I'm a bit nice because I'm just like, I want normal human rights. I'm like, can we just be nice to each other? I, bruh, easy softy <laughs> bruh. Hey, what? I do think we've got too much rights. Yeah. But that's a conversation for another time. <laughs> Woo. Kay's got to work on that one before we bring it back <laughs> to the pods. Yeah. I need to find a funny way to make it palatable. <laughs> Well, right. I, 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 but I've said this before. Like, I shouldn't have opinions on some things. You know, this is actually close. Actually, we've got another. We've got a, a, a one more thing from Patreon. I'm with Kay on this expensive gym stuff. Uh, there definitely is an element of this place is posh. I better be on my best behavior. We humans treat things better when we perceive yep. it to be of value. You all know that guy that cleans his Jordans with a tooth, toothbrush, but his work shoes look like they've been on a journey. <laughs> Our ethnic parents tell us they got, they used to get to school <laughs> through all the jungles and deserts. <laughs> <laughs> oh man it's true yeah, though yeah, yeah. oh i saw someone right yeah someone <laughs> there was a tweet that made me really laugh right yeah <laughs> they said they they tried out third space mm -hmm. and they said they went to back to their normal gym yeah and they were like disgusted with what they'd seen it was just like what what kind of downgrade is the way they described it was hilarious said it was an absolute down just to just while k bring that tweet up just to, to bounce back we're talking last week about how um in i've had a lot i go to a cheaper gym and there's been a few experiences where i've seen some off-key behavior and k's basically saying that the behavior in the more expensive gyms is a bit better than the behavior i've been experiencing um i'm not at my wits end but i'm really trying to go to the gym when no one's around like because the other people are starting to to really do my nut. I had a bare footer as well, Kay. I had somebody walk around barefoot yeah, in the gym. Yeah, that's ridiculous. And um, they <laughs> they stepped on something. Like I think someone spilled some water. They they stepped in water, 
like a, you know like people fill up their water bottles so there was like a, a water machine they walked past it got a wet foot and looked at the wetness on the floor with anger Bro. and i was like what what's good <laughs> you're walking around with no shoes on it's just like what's going on mate so so here's yeah, the tweet i went third space on friday that place is incredible mm. going back to pure gym yesterday felt like returning to the rain in london from the caribbean <laughs> It's true though. I've never been, but I've seen it. The thing is with those places, it worries me. Why? Because I'll end up going third space. Yeah. I'll get a membership. Yeah. And then now I'm locked into paying 200 pound a month, <sighs> right? Which is a massive yeah, investment. Yeah, yeah. But if you go to that place every day, mm -hmm. you work it out, cost per use, whatever, it works out cheap, yeah. right? Cheaper, sorry. Mm -hmm. like it, makes work, it makes sense. But then you will never be able to go back to a normal gym again. What do you mean I don't have a wet towel on the on the gym floor now yeah. to, to wipe my face with? Yeah. What do you mean there's no cold plunge pool? <laughs> what do you mean that there isn't a sauna? What, mm. I have to bring my own towel? Yeah. What kind of yeah. fucking peasant yeah. gym is this? Yeah. That's the kind of mentality that you end up with. And yeah. I don't want to I don't want to get that to that stage. I do have like a gym where it is a bit like that. So yeah. I, I dip into it yeah. here and there. I like it still. I, 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 this isn't a slight on you because the word that I'm using, right? But I but think, it is, <laughs> and he's now going to proceed to shit on me. Go on then. No, but I think that's how I stay grounded. I'm how not saying I'm just, he I'm stays grounded like that. Yeah. But then you see the cars he drives, no, no. and then the restaurants he goes to. But I tell you, my okay. favorite cars are smart car, brother. Uh, yeah, it? yeah. But like, yeah. I think that's what helps keep me grounded. Is is I think I mm. I like to eat, like I'm uh -huh. a I, I like to eat ramen. Yeah. Okay. I like I know there's a nice restaurant, but I like to eat ramen. Yeah. You get me. Um, I like to go to the hood gym. His ramen is imported from Japan, by the way. <laughs> That's proper. <laughs> I saw the ramen he had. It was just like Japanese writing in red and blue. Like, yeah, the ramen chef. <laughs> yeah. He's whipping it up right now. Um, yeah, so I think that's. I think I. I enjoy like not enjoy. That sounds so weird. I'm not a Tory, but I like stay. I stay doing stuff like that because I feel like if I did end up as someone who couldn't ever take it. Marcus says like all if this I could, stuff, if, yeah. Like if Marcus I, like says I, all this stuff. He goes to the restaurants where they show him the steak meat and goes, "I love the marbling there." Oh yeah, that's, that's, a, good, like, that's a good steak. It's got that good. <laughs> Ooh. There we go. Ooh. There we go. Yeah. See, How long has it been hung for? Yeah, I'll take that, baby. It's fucking fake humility. Nah, doesn't, it's not. Doesn't. It's not fake humility. But I just, I like the gym. Do you know what? And I also like going to the gym and not having any pressure to look good. Because I, when yeah. I go to the gym, I wear banged out tracksuit bottoms. Yeah, the ones I'm wearing right now, banged out t-shirt, my my training shoes that are comfortable for good, and I love it. I can't. Love I that. still can't comprehend. And there's no thing is, I don't care. It's not my problem. It's your choice. But for me to put on nice clothes. To go and fuck up with my stre stretching and whatever, I'm like, wow, that's like, no, no, that's no, nice I I because you. I like have nice clothes like truck suits and stuff. I ain't running in them. I ain't, I ain't bobbling them. I'm keeping them nice, man. <laughs> I know what you mean. I'm a bit like that as well. But I, I, I I'm all for aspiration. Yeah. Right. There should be stuff that you look forward to, right, mm. in life. Mm. Um, and and you should go. I want to get to that stage. Yeah. I want to be yeah, able yeah. to to go to those places and visit those places. Like I want to be able to live in Chelsea. Yeah, what? I don't know. I'm not laughing. It's no, I, I that's do. That's good. Yeah, I want to live around here, like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. where. Yeah. I mean, you already live around here, so <laughs> so you've actually <laughs> smashed it in life. But I, I want to be able to like, yeah. I like basically Marcus lives where they like paint houses in bright colours and influencers come and take pictures around, <laughs> around here. when there's like blossom on the trees, like people come <laughs> cherry around. Cherry blossom. We got cherry blossom around <laughs> and here. And people take pictures of it. And Marcus is just like, yeah, this is ends. It's not ends, bro. Ends, man. Ends. It is. It is a beautiful area. But anyway, before. Before we, before we get out of it, okay, I just want to say, after all of what I said, when I put on that rugby kit for the England lot and I put that all on. That was really I, I funny, nice. by the way. I felt really nice. Uh, can we talk about yeah, that talk in about detail? Now. Yeah, uh, go on, go on. No, You were funny. You were very funny. You were very, very funny. I was watching that and I was like, Marcus has got Marcus's jokes, bro. What did, what did I do? Oh, the, oh, oh, the video, the, where, yeah, the yeah, yeah, rugby video that yeah. came out because you were speaking about it on on here before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then I actually saw the video when it came out, and I, I was like, this is, very, you need to do more of that. Yeah, man. Even, Come on, Joe, let's like, do it. Even with like your tech stuff, do more of that. It was just like I was like, this is when he's like, rrr, rrr, rrr. I just made that up, and then. I, I thought that wasn't going to make the cut. I thought that was a warm hilarious. up. I was busting jokes fucking like with the rugby team. Fucking hilarious. See when you're yourself. Yeah. Did you see how they were tackling through me though? Yeah. See, I spoke about it on the pod, I, but I you've seen it now, bro. I ain't no gonna, joke. I ain't gonna lie, yeah. I was like, right. 
he must have paid him a bag to be doing physical stuff. <laughs> Bro. I was like, I was like, I've asked Marcus to do so much physical stuff yet. Yeah. For yeah. ages. No, like, thanks, bro. <laughs> no thanks, bruv. No thanks, bruv. Let's do something like this for the Patreon. <laughs> no, no, fuck that, fuck that, fuck that. As soon as Joe come along, do you want to get tackled by some rugby player? How much? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Always been a massive advocate of doing physical. Yeah. <laughs> For more shit like this, let's go into the yeah, page. Don't see right, it in a bit. Up.